Cat Hey everybody, CatSynth TV, and today we are looking at the filtering, a new dual filter effect from Mach. But first, please do subscribe to this channel for more synthesizer content coming out regularly. And please do consider supporting us via Patreon or Ko-Fi. Links in the description below. The Filtrake has a sleek modernist user interface, similar to Mach's Wave Razor synthesizer. And like the Wave Razor, it has several color and language themes, including Klingon. <laughs> Let's change it back to English. There is also a dizzying array of configurable parameters. It can perhaps be a little daunting at first, but once you understand where everything is, it becomes quite clear. There are two configurable filters. Audio can be routed to each of them separately in parallel or in series with filter 1 feeding into filter 2. The bright lines represent the signal path through the filters. There are controls for input level, the amount of input going either directly into filter 2 or from filter 1 in series, separate output levels for filter 1 and 2, and overall values for the wet signal from the filters, the dry signal from the input, and a final mixed output level. Let's now look more closely at the two filters. The first is a 12 dB state variable filter with two modes. Classic with a notch mode and modern with a bandpass. It has parameters for cutoff frequency, resonance, and morphing between the modes, much like a classic Oberheimer EMU filter. The second filter can be a four-pole low-pass or high-pass ladder filter, or one of several biquad filters for low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, and notch. Filter 2 has parameters for cutoff frequency, resonance, and saturation or overdrive on the input. Now let's try putting the filters in series. The real power of the filtrig comes from its myriad of modulation options. First, we will look at the envelope follower. The sidechain is used to drive the envelope follower and a threshold-based trigger. There are attack and release parameters for the slope of the follower. Use the central knob to determine how the follower affects the cutoff frequency. This is great for creating an Ottawa style effect. Let's see what happens when we use the follower to drive both filters in series. In addition to the envelope follower, there is also a two-stage envelope function generator with several different functions to select from. It can be triggered manually, via the threshold, or via MIDI. These little icons represent the different trigger sources. Let's turn off the envelope follower and use the generator to drive cutoff frequency. We'll use MIDI as the trigger.
There is also an oscillator that can be used as a modulation source. It can be used as a traditional LFO, an audio rate control source, tuned in semitones and synths, or synchronized to the tempo of your workstation. Here we use it to drive cutoff frequency. In audio rate mode, it can be used to create some interesting FM filter effects. The envelope can be used to control the oscillator amplitude and frequency, allowing us to add an expressive contour to the modulation and timbre changes. As you can see, there are a wide variety of sonic and control possibilities with the Filtric. We have really just scratched the surface in these examples. Let's now explore some of the factory presets. We hope that you have enjoyed this look at the Mach Filtrig and have some idea of how to use it in your own music. For more information, please visit mock.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.